back to Pulling Really Ass Girl 567, and as you can tell from the bird that I am holding today, it is this little man's birthday, his second birthday, and we're going to shoot a little video for him, since I usually shoot videos for all my birds' birthdays, except two birds that I forgot to do, which was Janet and Snowflake, and I really apologize for that. Stuff happened, and, you know, I never had time for that, so I'm going to just... Yeah, just forget about those, and I'm gonna do Miguel's today, since he, this is his actual birthday, and he is turning two, and we're gonna get set up for the birthday party that we're going to have, where we have food, like bird seeds, and if we have salad and crackers, we're gonna put that all in there, and luckily they barely have any food, so it's a great day to do this. And yeah, so first things first, we're going to give Miguel a bath. So. <laughs> third time trying to do this because I keep getting interrupted but first we got our traditional crackers which we always use for all our birthday parties and our birthdays. I there was no lettuce left so unfortunately the birds can't get lettuce which they love lettuce but we ran out so we're I'm just gonna have crackers and bird seeds and on the third thing I'll just mix up the crackers and the bird seeds. And for the crackers I'm going to crush them up because the birds like them crushed up and eating them full because like my birds are scared everything. And for pet owners, for people that want to get a bird or just got it, crackers. Don't use this as a normal food to put in their food. It is something that they can have once in a while, but having too much of it is bad. So, it's okay to have it. And lettuce and fruits are really good for parakeets, so if you want to feed them that, go redhead because it's really healthy to feed them vegetables. I barely feed mine vegetables we barely get enough vegetables for them, so my birds just eat bird seeds, which is pretty bad, but you know, once in a while I get them some vegetables and fruits. But yeah, I'm going to set up, and then I'm going to get Miguel out, because he's been in there for a while. Don't you dare go out the room. Okay, so I just took a really long time trying to get all these birds to come sit here. Oh, I didn't I forgot that Joe even existed. So, um uh I lost two birds on the process in trying to get all these birds here. But four is pretty much enough. We're missing Serena and Winter, but this is all about Miguel, so forget those two. Let's focus on this big old guy over there in the corner not eating, which is really sad. Go on, buddy, go eat. Yeah. Good bird. So, Miguel. Miguel is turning two years old, and wow. So, the story is, like... I know I say this every year, and it's probably really boring, but it's really good for you to know stuff about my birds, even though... Winter! Serena. Serena's coming. Okay. Even though they're just birds, and some people don't think that they're important. But... They are very dear in my heart, and they are very dear 
to this channel, for me, at least, because it's my channel, so, yeah, and, like, it is important for you guys to know a little bit of this, so, I got Miguel from the same place as I get all my other birds, except Brendan, he came from Petco, Gary's Pet Jungle, and he, I didn't really get to choose him, because I had a concert that day, like, there was two concert weeks, and the reason why we got Miguel was because when Bonnie died the week before, it felt, it was, like, really painful because I really loved Bonnie, and she was, like, amazing, and she can fly and stuff, and it just felt empty because having two birds again felt like I was missing someone, so I decided to get another bird to fill that empty hole. And that's where Miguel came in. But, unfortunately, when he came, I didn't get to pick him out. But, he ended up being a beautiful bird, and I really loved him, and I'm glad that he was the one chosen to be my bird. I always wanted to have a fat bird, just like a naturally fat bird. And he is that naturally fat bird, and I think it's amazing how fat he is, because it's adorable. I mean, like, how can a bird be fat? But, you know, I'm just so glad that Miguel is here, and he's, like, out of everyone, he's the oldest. Like, Br Jules is the oldest here, but out of everyone else, Miguel is the oldest, and he is the reason why everyone else came. And the reason to it, without Miguel, there wouldn't have be, been this, these many birds. Like, I was going to stick with three, and only three. And if Miguel didn't come, we wouldn't have gotten more. So, since Miguel, since Jen didn't like Miguel, we had to put him in a separate cage, and he was alone, and I felt bad. So, in April, I decided to get another bird, which... There's a lot of months being alone, I know, but, you know, I didn't think about it, because, like, I was fine with having only three birds, but we decided to get him a friend. We were trying to get him a girl, but Brandon ended up being a boy. Oh, well. They got along pretty well as brothers, and now they don't really like each other much anymore, but, you know, they got along pretty well. And they were a great company. You see, before, there was four cages. There was only two cages. There was Jules and Janet in one cage, and there was Miguel and Brendan in one cage. So, I felt bad that Brendan wasn't a girl, so I decided to get another bird, which is a girl. So Janet wouldn't be the only girl, and it would be even. Well, it wouldn't be really even. Would it be even? No, it wouldn't. But I decided to get a girl, and I wanted her to be white. Fortunately, when we went to the pet store to get a white bird, there was two white birds. Only two white birds, which was a shock, because I didn't actually think there would be a white bird. But there was, and we got her. And then, when she came, she didn't really decide right away who she wanted to be with. It took, like, a couple of months for her to choose Brendan. But after they chose each other, a few months later, like in May something, I don't know, it was last year, in May, we decided to get Miguel another cage. It was a really tiny cage, and it was only a cage to be with for a couple of months or so. Bye-bye. I'm just going to keep talking. It was going to be... A cage only for a couple of months since it was so tiny it was uh, it was meant for a canary but he was like living there alone so we thought he would be fine as long as he went out as soon as I got home so of course whenever I got home I let him out right away so I don't remember when we got that blue cage but in the summer we decided to get Miguel another cage and before that Jeez, I'm getting this all mixed up. Before that, we had Joe. A couple months later, we had Thomas Jr. and Winter. 
not just a couple of months, it was like literally a year, but you know. And then after Thomas Jr. and Winter came, we had Tina. Of course, we had the blue cage already, blah, blah, blah. We decided to get a new cage. A new one. And that's when Miguel and Winter moved in together and became a couple. Like, no, that's not when they became a couple. They became a couple when Winter was old enough to leave her parents. And we put her in that small, white, tiny cage. And then we changed it to the blue one. And then we got, we decided to get a new big cage so Miguel could finally have his big cage that he always wanted. Which took a while to get, but you know. He got a big cage, moved in with Winter, and they became a couple. Yes, they are a couple. They love each other. They kiss each other. They do everything a couple does. So don't just think we put a couple of birds in it and we're forcing them to like each other. Like, they ended up liking each other, so. So can win. And as soon as Miguel and Winter moved in with each other, I waited a couple of days to put Serena in with Joe. And that was when Joe and Serena first left their parents. Joe... He was, he is a year old, and he has been with his parents for a really long time. And I was a bit hesitant, but it had to be done, he had to move. But I finally decided that it was time for him to leave his parents. And to start with a relationship with another bird. So, Serena and Joe became a couple, and they are now actually becoming a real couple, because they do things that a real couple does, like kiss, and they actually do love each other now. So, there is eight birds, four girls, four boys, perfect amount of birds, and that's the only type, that's the only number that I am going to have, because I cannot handle eight birds, and how can I handle more than eight birds. So, when they do have babies, because now that there is four different couples having eggs, when they do have babies, I will be selling, selling them from now on. I had only sold one and was didn't get, really get that much of what it should have been worth. And so, put in the comment section below if you want a uh, baby when it hatches like let me know so you can be the first one to get it like yeah you can get it because i'm pretty sure a uh, baby will hatch soon right now snowflake and janet are the only ones breeding and snowflake has five eggs janet has one i really have given up on janet but i know she can have babies but it's a little bit more time for her but Snowflake, even though it's taking a little bit longer than usual, she can totally do it, and uh, I believe in her. these eggs are going to be the ones, so. If these eggs are good and they hatch soon, let me know in the comment section below if you would like one, because now we are selling all of them, because I cannot have any more birds. So, I want these birds to be given into a great home, so if you think you're responsible enough, please let me know. And anyways... Miguel, happy birthday, even though everyone literally just left me off after all my hard work and getting them there, which I don't care because they were there for a few minutes, I'm going to sing happy birthday to him alone. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Miguel L. Happy birthday to you. How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? Sorry for the awful thing. Before before I end this video, I did forget to mention that Miguel was born on December 20th. He wasn't born. He came here on December 21st of uh, 2017. So, yeah, guys. He's two years old now. Put in the comment section below. Happy birthday. I hope you guys 
like this video, please like, subscribe, put good comments in the comment section below. Don't forget to have a great day, full of sunshine and happiness on your face. Bye!